So here we are looking at a graphic and we're just going to quickly review some tips for reading and understanding graphics. First thing you want to do is look at the title. So check out this title, Urban versus Rural Percentages in Canada from 1851 to 2011. Uh, a key thing there is you're reading and thinking. Uh, it's urban versus rural. So that versus is like a comparison. Um, and then it's in Canada and it's from those years. Images. What are the pictures and colors trying to show? Okay, so there's two obvious colors here standing out. So red represents rural. What's going on with that? Well, it looks like overall it is declining from those years. And compare that to the blue, it looks like the blue starts low and goes higher. So that would be the percentage of urban. Numbers and text. So you can see the years are down here on the x-axis. Uh, these are percentages along the y-axis. Uh, what do these numbers reveal? You could pick out specific percentages, um, but you can also look for sort of a, a main message in this graphic. So keep in mind that means what is the message the author is trying to give? Key thing, look back to the title. So urban versus rural percentages in Canada from 1851 to 2011. So again, we're looking at comparing urban and rural percentages. And then we look to see what message specific details give us. So specific details again, let's look at the red curve and the blue curve overall. These bars form this curve. So I am led to believe that the percentage of rural in red is decreasing and the percentage of blue or urban is increasing over those years. So what does that mean I could conclude or what main message is given here? I'd say that in Canada from 1851 to 2011, people are moving from rural life to urban life. So they're moving from the countryside into cities. Hope that helps.